The new OTC3109 scan tool is a professional grade OBD2 scan tool designed to easily read and erase diagnostic trouble codes. The 3109 will display emission readiness information, freeze frame data, and display sensor outputs in real time while the vehicle is running. All these features come in a compact tool with a compact price. OBD2 is the vehicle standard mandated for all 1996 and newer cars and light trucks sold in the US. If a sensor signal is missing or out of specification, the PCM will turn on the malfunction indicator lamp, or MIL, more commonly known as the check engine light. All OBD2 compliant vehicles have a D-shaped data link connector that is in close range to the driver's seat. It can usually be found under the dashboard, but in some vehicles it is hidden behind the panel or an ashtray. Once you've located the vehicle data link connector, turn the ignition switch to the on position. This is normally one click before starting the vehicle. Then plug the OBD2 cable into the vehicle data link connector. The auto scanner will automatically begin to communicate with the vehicle and read the codes and IM monitor status. The last function in the main menu is System Setup. Press Enter here to change the values from English to Metric, adjust the screen contrast, change the tool language, and perform tests on the tool to make sure it is operating properly. You can also view the tool information if you need to find the program serial number or the software version installed in the tool. When finished, press back to exit. After the scan tool establishes communication, it will first display the IM monitors, or inspection maintenance monitors. The IM monitors, also referred to as readiness monitors, are tests that the vehicle performs during certain driving conditions. The auto scanner will show you which monitors are okay and incomplete, shown as INC. Monitors that do not apply to your vehicle will be shown as NA, for not applicable. When you are finished viewing the IM monitors, simply press enter to view the diagnostic trouble codes. Diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs, are shown in the top left of the screen. The P stands for powertrain, and the number relates to the type of malfunction detected by the vehicle controller. Beneath the code, you are provided with the SAE definition. This gives you a brief explanation of the type of malfunction detected by the vehicle controller and why the MIL, or check engine light, is illuminated. Your vehicle may report a manufacturer-specific code, or enhanced code, which is unique to the make and model of your vehicle. If the scan tool retrieves an enhanced code, you will have the option to select the vehicle year, make, model, and engine size. Selecting the vehicle will allow the scan tool to provide you with a manufacturer-specific definition, if it's available. The main menu is where you can select the function you would like to perform and set up the tool options. You can use the up and down buttons to scroll through the different menu options. The first two functions in the main menu are IM monitors and read codes. If you would like to view these again, simply highlight the function and press enter. The next function on the main menu is view freeze data, also known as freeze frame. Freeze frame data is the engine condition that is recorded on the PCM memory when a fault is detected and a DTC is stored. Simply press the back button to review the DTC and press it again to return to the main menu. The next function is view data. This is what differentiates a scan tool from a code reader and what classifies this scan tool as a professional grade tool. View data allows you to see sensor voltages and inputs in real time. Simply press enter and view data and start the vehicle. Use the up and down buttons to scroll through the different data items or parameter IDs. Values that are out of range or that don't make sense can help you pinpoint a faulty sensor or wiring issue. Armed with this information, you can now diagnose the problem and make repairs. The next available function is Erase Codes. If you would like to erase the DTCs stored in the vehicle controller, press Enter on Erase Codes. The scan tool will ask you to confirm your selection. Press Enter to confirm or back to cancel the command. I would like to mention the Read and Erase shortcut keys. You may have noticed the icon on the right side of the screen that reads RD slash ER. Wherever you see this icon, it means you have the option to use the read and erase shortcut keys, which are also used as the up and down arrows. Simply press and hold the key for two to three seconds to perform that function when the icon is visible. This is a great feature when you want to quickly read or erase a code without having to navigate through different screens. Mill status. This will inform you if the vehicle controller is commanding the malfunction indicator lamp on or off. This can help you determine if the bulb is burned out or if there is a wiring issue with the check engine light. 
Next on the main menu list is State OBD Check. This is basically a summary screen of the mill status, how many DTCs are reported by the vehicle, and the IM monitor status. This screen can be very useful if you want to verify if a vehicle will pass the state OBD emission test. The drive cycle monitor function is very similar to the IM monitor function. However, the drive cycle monitor will only show the monitors that are incomplete. The scan tool will continuously refresh the screen so you can see which monitors still need to run their tests. This is useful after you've cleared codes and want to drive the vehicle until all of the monitors are OK. The Vehicle Information function allows the tool to request the vehicle's VIN number, calibration IDs, which identify the software version in the vehicle control module, calibration verification numbers, and in-use performance tracking. To display the O2 sensor monitor test results, press Enter on O2 monitor test from the main menu. The tool will then display which O2 sensor test results are available. From the main menu, press Enter on Diagnostic Monitor Test. The tool will then display the available test IDs for the vehicle. Press Enter on the test ID of your choice to view the stored values. This information is also referred to as Mode 6 data, and it can be used to help verify if a fault has been successfully repaired. The Onboard Systems Test allows the tool to control operation of certain vehicle components. In most cases, this function will allow you to close the EVAP vent valve, which can help you diagnose certain EVAP system failures. We hope this short video has been useful in helping you see how the OTC 3109 scan tool can be used to diagnose the cause of the check engine light and quickly reset it. Because your tool is updatable, it can provide you with diagnostic service for years to come.